Hey guys, it's Blue Chef 31 here, and this is my review for the Sheffield Wednesday Wolf game. Uh, it was a good game. It was it was a game that we dominated in possession and shots, and especially corners. We played really, really well. That we didn't come away with something. The team with the same team that we pretty much had a, a hull minus uh, Reef McCabe because that with virus, and we played. Some good football, uh, we kept the ball, we pressed at them so much and Antonio and Jermaine Johnson had a brilliant game with each other. It's just a shame Antonio can't take some of his chances and make goals at the minute because he's really struggling. He gets an opportunity and it doesn't seem like he can bury them at the minute. If he can work on his shooting that would be brilliant. Uh, Rita had a goal saved on the line by Wolf from a corner and it would be nice if we got that because we did play really well. We had a lot of corners in this game and with set pieces I feel like we can sometimes attack them a little better and we had about eight to nine shots, only two on target but they're going up in shot because at one point we weren't having any. You used to look at the other team's stats and it's like they have 14 shot to our 2 or 3. So we're starting to get there. In the second half, we played some really good football, kept it down on the floor. Uh, I found Kieran Lee starting to make that position his, and he's playing some really good football at the moment. Um, Antonio had a great chance to make it 1 0 in the second half from a. Uh, from, well, it wasn't Antonio, it was from Antonio Run. And the path to Helani basically ran from our defence with the ball. It looked like he lost it to one point. And he passed it to Helan on the final third and he hit the side netting. We had so many chances to get a goal in this. And it's starting to show that we need a striker of some sort to just come in and help go and get some goals in. Now the thing is, if we're going to have players coming in, it means players have got to go out. So does this mean someone like Gary Medin goes out on loan till the end of the season and come back and get more games and try it again next season? Or does it mean someone like O'Grady goes out and uh, permanently, or Medin go out permanently? Uh, he says he's looking far and wide for players and we just need someone who's able to get goals in this level. Maybe even if it's some ex Premiership striker or someone like Robbie Earnshaw or something of that nature to get the goal. Because if we start scoring, start making a chance like we did today, we'll rock it up this table. Because if if we made the better chances today, we would have got the three points. And it's just starting to feel like. We're playing the good football now, it's just about burying them in the final third. And Mikel Antonio missed a lot, but he getting he'll get there, he'll some will eventually come off for him. And he's a good player and he maybe just needs to work on his shooting and control. But to be fair, it was nil nil in the end. Uh they didn't really have too much of a threat in that game, I thought. They had little bits where they worried us, but oh, it's clean sheet, it's a point, yes it would have been nice to get three point considering I think everyone around or drew today, but at the end of the day, we got a clean sheet, we got a point, and let's just move on to the next game and just play with the same confidence that we're playing at the minute to make us go even further, because the way we play can only breathe more confidence into the crowd, uh, into the quad. And the crowd today was brilliant, uh, less of this negative attitude towards the players, so really, really good. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.